Welcome to today's webinar presented by Supercoder.com. Supercoder.com is an online coding solution offering Part A and B coding reference tools, resources, and not more than 30 specialty coding and compliance newsletters from the Coding Institute in one site. I hope you enjoy this short session. Talk fast, and I add a lot of information to my audio conferences. So make sure you guys have a pen or pencil in hand and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and begin. Um, first, I'm going to start with the disclaimer. This information is presented. It's current and subject to change without notice. All the information provided is based on uh, official published references by CP, CPC. Uh, sorry. By current procedural terminology, 2011 American Medical Association, Center of Medicaid and Medicare Services, American College of Cardiology, Interventional Radiology Coding User Guide, Heart Rhythm Society, Medical Learning Incorporated, CardiologyCoder.com, and of course, many other conferences I've attended. A complete represent, representation of all these CPT changes, additions, Deletions can be located in your new 2012 AMA CPT manual. And also, all codes are effective January 1st, 2012. There's no grace period. So make sure you're following the rules and regulations that have been enforced for this year. Um, the, over the overview is there's been about five deletions, um, 16 additions. 15 plus description definition changes. When we get to those, I'm not going to go word from word, CPT from CPT, so I'm not going to go over every single um, description definition change, but it is highly recommended that you review all your cardiology CPT codes, because this year is a huge change in codes. And then there's also a ton of um, parenthetical additions, which I put on the back of this conference um, to give you a little hint of some reference guides to go back to. And again, when you review your CPT book, you're going to want to read everything that is on that page because you're given a lot of hints, you're given a lot of information. Several new single codes were created for 2012 that bundled two or more codes submitted during 2011. So for your convenience, I enclosed a 2011-2012 crosswalk that may assist you in choosing the appropriate code. We're going to begin with the deletions. CPT code 71090, modifier 26, which is fluoroscopy guidance, has been deleted and is no longer billable during lead insertion, lead replacement, or lead revision. The physician revenue loss for this year is about $28.54 in regards to that code being deleted. However, CPT code 76000.26, which is fluoroscopy up to one hour physician time, is billable during lead evaluation without lead insertion, lead replacement, and lead revision. The problem is, is yes, we have a new code, this code's not going to be used very frequently. The reimbursement is only $8.49. So regardless, the physician's reimbursement is a loss of $20. So as you're going to see um, throughout 2012, physicians have, are receiving a huge decline in their reimbursement. An example to use the fluoroscopy up to one hour would be the physician inspects a recalled lead during a generator changeout with fluoroscopy guidance. There's absolutely no lead insertion, lead replacement, or lead revision performed at the time of service. I, in the years I've been coding, um, rarely see recalled leads. Um, there has been some, as we all know. Um, currently, there's been a few within the last two years. So this is probably going to be one of the only times you're going to be able to build the CPT code 7600. The type of guidance must be documented, documented within the report to capture the CPT code. Um, a lot of physicians do not identify in the operative report that services or leads have been um, inserted over with fluoroscopy guidance. And if that's not documented, if those words are not in 
in the report, you cannot capture it. It's the rule. If it's not documented, it's not done. Next page, conscious sedation. Conscious sedation has been deleted on a few codes as well. We used to be able to build conscious sedation when diagnostic procedures were performed. Um, on the vascular side, when you're doing like extremities, um, AAROs, um, unilateral injections, if it's just a diagnostic test with absolutely no intervention. The five surgical codes below were revised this year to include conscious sedation. The conscious sedation code that used to be billed was the 99144 and the 99145. It is no longer appropriate to code conscious sedation when a diagnostic study is performed and CPT codes 36200, 36245, 36246, 36247, or 36248 are indicated. Supercoder is the fastest growing online reference tool with more than 25,000 subscribers. Call 866-228-9252 to get a free product demo or sign up at supercoder.com for a seven-day free trial.